Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the dog rig from the other rig pro rig library blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at blender market. It's important to note that the other rig pro rig library is specifically built for the other rig pro rigging system. So you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Um, yeah, so I've created this uh, a dog uh, rig for other rig pro even though there's already a dog rig that comes with Auto Rig Pro, and that's because uh, I I just um, felt that the setup of of that uh, preset from Auto Rig Pro itself wasn't completely in line with a realistic uh, uh, with the realistic anatomy of a dog. So, for example, the 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 feet, uh, which are really specific for dogs, as you can see over here. Um, weren't uh, set up this way uh, in the other rig pro template so uh, I cre I've cre I thought I, I would just create my own um, well and and each of the rigs uh, each of the 24 rigs in the other rig pro uh, rig library um, add-on comes with a locomotion animation um, in the case of the dog that's a running animation let me show you that from multiple angles so you can get an idea of the animation and uh, just so you know, I've animated this on 30 FPS and not on 24 FPS because uh, with the whole creation of this rig and uh, and this animation, I kept game engine compatibility in mind. So uh, that's why I did that. Uh, okay, cool. Let's get back to the features of this rig. And first of all, um, just so you know, the main purpose of this rig is to act as a template rig. So uh, that means that you can use it to rig your own models uh, that have a similar anatomy to that of a dog. So you can also use it to, to rig uh, a wolf, for, for example. Um, yeah, so uh, that's uh, just so you know, that's, that's, that's the main purpose of the whole library is, uh, is basically to give you a bunch of templates that you can, that you can use to rig almost any type of animal uh, that, that, that you can think of. Um, okay, so this uh, rig comes with a, uh, with a block mesh here. This is the block mesh and the block mesh uh, uh, acts as a visual guide so you can easily see uh, uh, w uh, where I've placed the bones within the mesh. Uh, it should give you an idea uh, of where to place the bones within your own model. So it's basically just a, just a tool. You can easily delete it if you don't need it. Uh, it doesn't do any harm if you delete it. Um, let me just undo that. But uh, just so you know, that's the reason why the block mesh is there. Uh, okay, on to the controls of this rig. First of all, we have this position controller that's there to place the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller that you can use to animate any type of trajectory for the dog. Um, we have this root master controller, which controls both the upper and the lower body of the dog. We also have, oh, sorry, this one. We have this root controller, which only controls the lower body. So you can use that to, to animate a, a hip sway, for example. We have uh, this tail master controller which lets you animate all the tail bones at once and the same principle here with this uh, um, spine master controller it lets you animate all the spine bones at once um, okay then on to the head controller uh, and if I turn on the tool tabs you can see it has this headlock property uh, let me demonstrate what that does uh, right now if I select the the neck controller and I move it around you can see that the head follows the orientation of the neck but if I toggle this headlock property and I move the neck around you can see that the head keeps facing forward so um, yeah that's what the headlock does on to the legs um, by default the legs are in uh, IK but I can uh, easily switch to FK. And there in FK, as you can see, let's switch back to IK. Okay, um, some other features, the leg has got auto stretch. If I turn that on, 
uh, and I move the leg beyond its limit, you can see that the leg stretches. So that, that gives for some uh, nice cartoony animation. Uh, we have tie twist, uh, which is there to correct any deformation in the ties. Um, and we have knee pinning. So uh, we have the knee over here. And if I move the leg, you can see that the knee follows. But if I, uh, where is it? If I pin the knee, and I move the leg again, you can see that the knee stays put. So that's what knee pinning does. Uh, on to the foot. Here we have a toe controller, which lets you animate all the toe bones at once. We have this foot controller. And here we have a foot roll controller. Uh, if you move it up and down, it gives you a foot roll. And if you move it sideways, you can animate some banking movement of the foot. So that's nice. Um, yeah, to be honest, I think I've covered now all the, the main controls of this uh, dog rig from the other rig pro rig library. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to contact me on Blender Market. I'm always uh, happy to help. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching.